I really enjoy this question. What is the trick or genius shading technique can give such a result of painterly look in 3D? There are indeed such genius procedural methods, but my answer is always the same. I just paint. And where do I paint? In the much neglected texture paint mode of Blender. When was the last time you used it? Long ago? Do you feel like trying that once again? I can actually help you with that. I can show you how to wake up the sleeping beast inside Blender's texture painting mode. Yeah, you can make such illusionary artworks from start to finish only through painterly texturing with Blender. If you feel like taking up paint and brushes in Blender to make such 3D paintings, this course is for you. You can learn all the important tools of texture paint mode and even make your own 3D customizable brushes. I am going to do a number of workouts in this course to fully reveal the spirit of my 3D paintings. Though I did reveal it already, I just paint. But there are a couple of things that can make your 3D painting experience much enjoyable. And this is what this course is all about. Training you to get comfortable with texture painting in Blender and showing a number of techniques that can aid you throughout 3D painting sessions. Those techniques include use of modifiers, materials, and shaders, and sometimes a little grease pencil. Apart from a small side quests, it has two main workouts. One for illustrative style artworks. I will recreate this illustration from a scratch and guide you through modeling, UV mapping, texturing, line art process with grease pencil, and so on. I call these artworks 3D paintings because I don't actually try to hide that they are 3D at all. So we have another part of rendering simple camera animations. We have another project which is about traditional style. I have shortened this chapter a little because of its huge length and some obvious repetitions of previously discussed matters. But the real-time recordings are shared. I will focus on newer concepts more including utilizing shader editor and compositing to maximize the painterly effects. I hope this course will open up a new world for you and you will thoroughly enjoy this epic crossover of 2D and 3D worlds.